What's up, what's up, what's up once again? Yes, sir. Boo, 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 boo. Back on the YouTubes, bro. Back on the YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charlie, Charlie. What's up, yeah, Charlie yeah. something. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Once again, another installment of the THC. With your boy, 6025 Scarfo, a.k.a. Stenner One Man, Man Scout, tell a friend. Adio. Oh, that's it. <laughs> this is nothing more than that, guys. You no, just no, no, no zest to your life. I mean, we have Yasmin as well. Shout out. Hi. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Okay. All of the soft spoken voice. Hi. Yeah, until we, until we start yeah, the going conversations. With it. Yeah, it's yeah, outspokenness. That's how you, that's how when guys, when guys speak to you, you'll be like, hi. And then like yeah. um, a week later, it's like... Mm, yeah. so how change streets are facts. That's, that's crazy like that. though. That's, that's nice. You can't be forward though when you when you when you when you like when you're meeting a person yeah, but off the, the gate. That's a whole conversation though, because it's like are you supposed to be yourself though? Because like you know, Why not? not? Why I not? Yeah. Uh, but we'll get Guys, um please like, share, subscribe, comment on the notification bell, comment. Comment, well. please, 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 friends. please. We're trying to again we did say in the previous episode that we we back now. We took a bit of a hiatus, but we are back. Excuse me. And yeah, it's gonna come hot and fast and pause and there's some other things pause in the work. indeed. There's some other things in the work that's coming and that's on the way. So stay yeah, tuned. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Inshallah as my Islam Inshallah. brothers would say, you know. Facts boy. But yeah, we back at it again though. Uh, how are you guys doing? What you saying? Um, uh, what am I saying? What, what are you saying when I ask? I don't have a lot to say. <laughs> I mean Time of recording, you excited to go watch the y- F1? Yo. I, I really, I can't wait. Just I give us a young rundown. Not too much time, because I know you can yell. No, you know, she opened her mouth. She opened her mouth. Because, you know, once I start, I can't stop. Mm, I, I really? keep rambling. That's what I'm telling you. Like, like F1 channel. You know. Yeah, so. Maybe some people will get into it. Okay. Okay, but now what do I say about it? Like, like today's th- race, why is it so important? You should have told me. I'm really racing. That yeah, guy so might be leaving. You are actually. Yo. I have one. I have a lot of favorite drivers. Yeah, yeah. Formula One. So, one of my favorite personalities on the grid. Yeah, yeah. They might drop him. So today's race might be his last race. What's his name? Um, Daniel Ricciardo. That's all regular. I was thinking someone's gonna be something. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's yeah what hell? <laughs> but he's the fu- he's one of the funniest people on the grid, and he's like he's just that. He's I like him, man. Mm. Like you follow I them on like social him. media also. Yeah. Jeez. Um. And like in his uh, press conference and post race interviews, he's like, yeah, there's a lot of banter and stuff. Yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So he's a full of personality. Yeah, yeah so crazy. he's like one of the best personalities on the grid. Yeah. So um, today might be his be last, last race. Why? According to rumors, um, are they trying old? to get younger drivers in? Mm-hmm. How old is he? Then? He hasn't. He's probably in his thirties, I think. Oh. Um. But a lot of people feel like he's wasting a seat because he's not really scoring points. Oh. But I think he's a good driver, it's just that odds against the him. The car that he's in. What so what so what, what what does he drive for? Um, RB Visa Cash App. So it's red, oh. it's part of Red Bull. Mm-hmm. Oh. So do you think that like um do you think he's gonna get another gig after this? Would someone um, pick him up? He was he was he used to drive for Red Bull. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, when he was younger, and then he decided to leave Red Bull for Renault, which was the worst mistake he's ever made because Red Bull was dropping Renault because the engines they were manufacturing engines for Red Bull. Yeah. But those engines were trash. Yeah. So they constantly had issues, so they dropped Renault. And just as they dropped Renault, he Daniel switched, over. switched over to Renault. Ooh. And it's like you know what? He grew up with Red Bull, but he wants to venture oh yeah, yeah. to a different Stand team on his own as two an feet. adult. I can really relate that to football. So it's a loyalty thing, you would say, what? Yeah. Um, he want to he want to explore options as mm. yeah. he matured because he grew up in Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. And so now it's like okay, I'm gonna go to Renault. Reno was horrible. I think I've seen Reno. R E N O, right? R E N A U L T. Oh, as in O. Oh, Renault. Yeah. Hey, you're saying it. Renault. Renault. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta emphasize it. Anyway, so um, then he moved from there to McLaren. Oh, yeah. And he did well in McLaren, but um, 
to replace him with a younger driver. Ooh. So McLaren is known for like recruiting young up and coming drivers because the pa- the uh the guy that he rec- that he recruited was Lewis Hamilton. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that is like yeah, no so chance. Yeah. The standard is a bit. And I mean, the young driver that they that they replaced um, Daniel with, he's actually really good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Also an Australian. Um, is he also Australian? Yeah. Oh. So we'll see now. So now they want to replace him again, which would make him then a third driver. So when McLaren dropped Daniel. Um, Red Bull took him as a third driver, so if one of the drivers gets sick or yeah. they something happens, mm. then he would substitute vibe. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So he was the third driver for Red Bull, and then a seat opened up at uh, Renault. It was yeah, it was Alpha Tori, but it changed to RB Visa. Oh yeah. Cash App. Um, Cash App. Cash App. Oh. <laughs> Sponsors. They have a car on the yeah, RB Visa hilarious. Cash App. So. Because it's like oh, Red Bull, Red Bull Visa, Cash App. Yeah. I had a little bit darky Visa. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so now if they drop him, he would probably become a third driver again. So he would probably be more like. Is he a first driver now? A second driver? Second. Oh. Which is still good, right? That's still yeah. like major. It's okay. Yeah, he's still on the grid. He's still racing, but. They are rumors no going around, speak. and I've Side learned now. that if you hear a rumor, if one rumor, it's probably very true. Hmm. Interesting. Because Ferrari dropped in one of my favorite drivers. Michael Schumacher. No. Michael <laughs> <laughs> Schumacher like is long gone, but they dropped um, Carlos for Lewis Hamilton. So there was rumors going around because everybody's like, "Where is he going? Where is he going?" And he's going to the worst team on the grid. What? Uh, Williams. They also bought a Mercedes, I think. Okay. There's yeah. a lot, there's a lot to track. I don't even know that it's called a grid. Yeah, facts. That is some learning yeah. terminology here today. 20 drivers on the grid. Interesting. That is. And you just watch cars go in circles. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a circle, technically. Yeah. <laughs> it is a track. It's not, what, what is that called again? Not rallies, but um, NASCAR. NASCAR. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I would also like to vent about the sports thing uh, just before we... Oh, before I go on to that, did you guys see that tennis? Have you seen those clips on, uh, clips on TikTok about the tennis? Of the tennis? No. It's no- Novik and all those owns, all yeah. the like, high-quality uh, tennis players. Yeah. I don't know if it's like an actual like o- um, open or whatever they call that type of thing, but uh, it looked like a charity match. But the point is they wore um, mics. So you can hear what they're saying. Oh yeah, yeah. they do that Bruh, sometimes. Watch that, bro. It's so fun. <laughs> the stuff they be <laughs> saying. The <laughs> so the FIA, <gasps> so the FIA runs Formula One, right? So the current world champion is Max Verstappen, so he drives for Red Bull, right? Yeah. So during a press conference, he swore, and so they, we uh, are they told him that he needs to stop community service for swearing. Just so, so, so after that, there was another press cor- conference. How long ago was so this? Now, this week. Yeah, this um, week? Yeah, because the race is today. What did he say this word? Did he say? Did he I use the C word? I don't know. But uh, they have, like, the FIA sucks, bro. They are the worst thing mm. to happen to the sport. But anyway. So now, because this is what he got now, fine. And he said, like, okay, you need to sell community service. So last yesterday, day before yesterday, Friday, I think, there was another pre- a press conference. And so the reporters are asking him questions. And he's, he would put he picks it up. No. Oh. They ask him another question. Some yes. Attitude. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can yeah. imagine. And then bro. they're like, "Are you gonna give answer short answers, or are you gonna?" He's like, "I don't know. My throat is what so so." Mm. And you would put the mic down, and you yeah. pick it up again, and Just you put it down, brief. and yeah, and you like give one two word answers. Yeah. So then he says to the reporter, it's nothing against you guys. I just don't want to say anything that's going to get me into trouble. Then he had his own press, press, press conference yeah. outside, <laughs> and he got all the reporters to come in. And then he spoke, because mm. it's now the out oh, of the confines the of the okay, FIA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's a <laughs> pictures of him like with all these reporters around him, and he's now answering the questions properly. That's fire, man. Yeah, it really is. It's like a strong. Was he swearing in that one, though? 
I I'm didn't swear. see it. But it's, it's more about the concept of like, no, nobody's going to watch this because he's not yeah. giving proper answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so yeah. he's going to take the audience away from them. Oh, yeah, and actually, he like can also put them. money in his pocket. Exa- though. Well, you we could, yeah. Take away money from them as well. So, like, once that press conference was done and he was done giving his one word answers, he went outside and he told them, like, if you want proper answers, you can ask me outside the. Yeah, so yeah. they probably rushed the gold. Yeah, to, to, to so like you interviewing me now, mm. but I, I'm an, I can't say things here. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna tell you, catch me outside, and I'll answer <laughs> you. Catch How about outside, that? How about that? Oh That's yeah. crazy, crazy though. Um, it's pretty dramatic in the in that world though. Yeah. But if I is they like I don't know. They they boxes, they they boxes yeah. in Afrikaans. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's ridiculous man. sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I don't Which wanna one to about the football, wise. yeah, the football. I mean, look, it, it goes fast. It, by the time it drops, some more stuff has happened. But like time of recording, I just want to get some stuff off my chest. Mm. So I support FC Barcelona. Um, opening first five games, we won, smashed it, right? And yeah. this literally hasn't happened since I think 17, 18. That's how you count the season, in case yeah. you didn't know. It's from basically, they don't count it through a year. They count it from yeah, one year to the next. Yeah, my, yeah. my year of each. Anyway, so, boom, we come back with a blast. I don't know if you're familiar with Lamine Yamal. 16 year old. He's Maestro, 17 now, 17 but like. Maestro. Look here, Yasmin, bruh. This bruh 17, my bro. Doing crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. The vice's villain arc has begun because there was a girl that he was seeing and stuff. And they then she sat on some other bruh's lap and she went live and it's like a whole thing, man. Yeah, yeah. So this bruh just came onto the pitch because he did he played the euros as well mm. i don't know if this happened before or after the euros but yeah. played the euros smashed because i think he had the highest assist count of the and they won was also and they won and um spain also went to the olympics also won gold there but he wasn't part of that team i don't think but some of the players did go anyway but we have a lot of players in barcelona mm. that played in both which yeah, yeah. anyway so five first games of the season we have a new manager owns he's smashing it me bro scoring goal after goal like they look confident they look yeah. dominant you check First Champions League game, maybe bro. Now, the thing about the Champions League is it feels different. You just watch it and it just feels different. Yeah. The lights feel brighter, maybe bro. Yeah, you know everything is much more crystal. Crystal clear. It's like, it's crazy, bro. Like, the energy shift is so different. They, like, have their own anthem that they open up with and stuff. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, uh, if you watch football, you know this for a fact that, um, like, the team that I support, Barcelona, they're full of, like, bro, the oldest person is 33, but, like, the average age of the squad is probably, like, 24. Yeah, yeah. Like they're all so yeah. young. There's a center back that's 17, 18. There's Owens on the bench that's 16, my bro. Yeah. So, Yamal is the one that's carrying it on his back. The whole, the whole like quote unquote rivalry between Barcelona and Real Madrid has always been this whole thing of like um, back in the day. I don't know who it was. I think it was Ronaldinho versus the, uh, they call the Galacticos, which yeah, essentially yeah. is like the huge Madrid players, right? Yeah. So that was like, um, Zidane and those people and like Figo and, and them, Figo yeah, and yeah, the yeah, greats. Yeah. Then after that, it was CR7 and Benzema and Bale yeah. and Modric and, and against Messi. But it was always one in one. You check. Yeah. So it was Ronaldinho first. Then it was Messi against the El Galacticos. Yeah, you yeah. check. Now it's Yamal. But it was it's just like a, a fan thing. It's not really an yeah, actual yeah. rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just that FC Barcelona always like kind of had one player that put the team on their back and carried them. Yeah. So this is now quote unquote the new generation. But it's like, bro, you c- you can't write this. It's like impossible. There's a photo of Lamina Mal when he was a like, baby. With Messi. With Messi. Messi was in a bath. Yeah. Mm. It's not Messi. That's he was in a bath. The and Amal was, was in a bath it. like yeah. as a baby and they did like a calendar shoot. So now they always reference this photo as like he was basically Christian. Prodigal son. Yeah. Like he was meant to be who yeah. he is and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so boom, win first five opening games of La Liga. We go to Champions League. We face Monaco now the other night, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday night. The Owens, absol- uh, well, not the Owens, one person in particular, the goalkeeper, the Stegen, yeah. threw the game away, my bro. This, bro, look, yeah, I'm, this is actually a very uh, controversial, like, opinion of that I personally have, but, like, people are saying he's not, like, he's not it anymore. There was a time where he was great. He's yeah, not the Stegen was really that guy he, at he some was, point. He was really good at the point, and I think he has fell off. He has conceded a lot of goals. That is true, but I think people underestimate, like, his ability to save of reflex mm, because mm. like you must think about the fact that there are 22 owens on this pitch so if there's 10 in the box ne, and another 10 so that's 20 basically a lot of things for a corner him. for exactly my bro that ball come he just do his bah save yeah. it you check so he is really really good but on this occasion and he also plays with the ball at his feet really well mm. 
but on this occasion he cost the game, uh, threw it to a player out in front of him. There's players here, he threw it here in front of him. So they nicked the ball from Eric Garcia, came after him basically, and Eric Garcia obviously had to get back most now. Yeah, and yeah. Then Eric Garcia got the red card, so now they man Ooh, down, they're playing 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Barca lost the game. We did lose, we lost 2-1. Jamal scored a goal, 17, br- 17 year old bra put the team on his back again. Yeah. We don't score a goal, try to, you know, balance. That's earlier though in the stages. In cases like this, do you think those matches are fixed? I no. <sighs> I because, I mean, you know they are good players, but now you p- you see them not performing their best. Like, do you think that they took some money? No, it's not an unsynchronous situation. Like, like I with the athletes, bro, do you have good days and bad days? Yeah. But I mean, saying. like, it's not also, like, impossible that it... Like I, I believe a lot of matches are fixed. Mm. Soccer, soccer, rugby, yeah, Formula yeah. One. Oh yeah, I in think general. It's a possibility. In I general, think the powers like that be. Like corruption is so prevalent that you can't like just be like, oh no, my team would never do that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, you you completely right. I like the whole Man City thing. There are yes, there's a regular there's a case being open against Man City for. Basically, I don't understand it completely, but it's basically they spend so much money and all of this type they of stuff. They went above like money. Uh, they went yeah. above the money they're supposed to spend. Yeah. On exactly. And then it's specific players also in the Premier League. I think it's um, Paqueta is one of them. Uh, I don't think Bruno, Bruno Gimeres, um, um, um what's it, other brother's name? Uh, but anyway, Ivan Tony. Mm. these players have bet on their games or against their team and stuff like that. So then they get banned and things like that mm. to check. Oh so yeah, that's I remember Ivan Tony But uh, uh, soccer teams, they have sponsors and things, right? Yes, they yeah, do. Crazy across sponsors. The shirt. I was at Barcelona as a Spotify. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it they do. But what do you, how are you relating that to the... No, because like sometimes, like let's say Spotify and Apple, now Apple is supplying your team and yeah. now maybe they'll be like, okay, look here, we'll give you X this amount. and that. And oh. then... You get your team to, and then throw that's the how game. It, yeah. I think yeah. it's pretty hard to throw a game, though, man. Yeah, Soccer. because at the end of the day, there's hard. 11 players on the field, right? So you can't influence all of them. You can influence one or two, yeah. maybe. But like, you look at the goalkeeper. Uh, True. Two. You see if you get the goalkeeper, then. That is a good one. That's know? a good point. But I don't think he's one to... But I think you need to get the, to the referee more than anything. Facts. That is... That's the most prominent thing in football. Mm. If we're talking about corruption, it's always the referee where he gives out. And it's evident. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very, very evident, evident in those evident, cases. Yeah. Off, offside calls and certain things like that. That's what they have far now and whatever, but anyway. So it doesn't. But but to my point, um, so we lost the opening game. Jamal did what he could. But they're taken through the game. There's photos of the way they look at that man with disgust, me, bro. Because so the, the, the teammates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way <laughs> through the game. I'll Imagine. show you the photo. It's hilarious. But yeah, bro. Imagine. So yeah, I you can put it up on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I'll send it, I'll email it and then put it up and whatever. But yeah, bro, like, I'm so just disappointed, deflated, like, the whole fan base. Because obviously this expectation, bro, when you support a team like Barcelona, Madrid, City, you don't expect to lose, you check. So yeah, us yeah. going through this period where we so shit, my bro. So mm. to come back from that and win 7-0 against a yeah. team and dominate certain games and stuff. You'd we expect to actually come out exactly. the gate with a strong, strong, strong hold. Exactly. So I would say, like, also the fans' expectations were a bit high to expect, like, oh, we're back now. This is Barcelona. Mm. You check. Because of the new manager and whatever. But we'll see how we recover. This is going the to league is tough, bro. I mean, looking at the Real Madrid squad, I'm a Barca fan by nature because it's Ronaldinho, mm. Messi. What you talking about? Mm. But Madrid squad, bro, is heavy, dog. You... Yeah, but, th- but that's, the, that's the interesting thing about that, though, because, like, Mbappe scored last night. I don't know if he scored an open field goal, but majority yeah. of his goals came from penalties. Yeah, yeah, penalties. You see. But Bellingham is also hot there, bro. Bellingham is amazing. And he's a there. Ooh, Just proud to be like that, bro, so underrated. Uh, it really is. It is. It really is. So, yeah, so, yeah, we'll see. Because next, next month, this will probably drop before that. We have huge games. We have El Clasico's next month. We have Bayern, who famously defeated us seven 0 and like the crazy score yeah. lines. Yeah, yeah. They actually won the the Champions League game like eight, yeah, nine, and they won recently. Nine yesterday two. they won five 0 Exactly, they did this. So they're pretty so on fire. That Olise, Olise, Olise doing Olise crazy bro. things there, bro. Just that guy is a baller. That yeah. guy is a baller, as Aura, as they say, as the kids say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's just my event. I don't know. Next episode, I'm, I might be upset. I might not be upset. We'll see. <laughs> we'll honestly yeah, I don't see watch it, football. Like, I'd be watching highlights stuff because I'd be doing th- other stuff on the yeah, side. Yeah, that's fair. I, know, I understand. You know, I just yeah, I'm that's the thing. Like, uh, there are casual fans and there's people like me that's obsessed. But I don't even know that much. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I couldn't tell you a stat from mm. 2004. Yeah. I mean, those people that, like, know all of that, it's, like, it's insane to me. 
Because it's like a like How your memory is killing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, like oh, I can't oh. even tell you what I did last week. One hundred percent. Me too. Actually, it's like lyrics though. It's like you know when you memorize lyrics, you kind of have it. Yeah, yeah, but then if they ask you to sing it without the song, I can't do that. I can't. You then I'll uh, sing wrong. Uh, true. I can't. I really also can't sing a song. Because uh, bra, maybe when the song's playing, I don't even say the right stuff. I hear what I want to hear. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a I don't know. Um, I don't know if you guys follow that Lassie's way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he recently did a awkward date. Uh, I watched that. With Love Chrissy it. With Chrissy from The Real White The White Lady. Lady. Yeah. yeah. So she was singing the uh, anthem that, wrong. Bro. So I was singing it the it way she cringy, was singing it. It was cringy, bro. Like after that, like, because it was stuck in my head. So I sang it the way she was singing it. I I knew the anthem. Like, I could sing the anthem. Yeah. Like, I knew it word for word. But when she I sang it. After that, I, it's like my brain reset. I don't know the words anymore. After I sang it the way she I did. I think a lot of people don't know the anthem. I, I, couldn't, sing it to you. Know I couldn't sing it to you now if I tried. Like I that. could. There's certain I parts I can't sing. But I can't anymore after that. <laughs> how, <laughs> you, how does that happen? How your mind got warped. Your, yeah. your mind got warped. Because I was singing it the whole time. I was singing it wrong the whole time the way she did. Because yeah, it was yeah. playing like on a loop in my head. So then my mother's like, do you know what? So I'm like, yeah, let me sing it. And then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so you got missed by white people. See, white people they infiltrate yeah. their mind. So yeah. you gotta be woke. But there's an episode, Adil. You must watch it. I laughed the entire episode. Um, with Lassie's with awkward dates with four pops. Four pops. I liked it too. I saw that. I saw very, that. Very, very witty dude. Goes to the toilet. Yeah. yeah very I saw witty that. dude. The whole episode so is funny, funny. Smart funny. guy also. Very <laughs> smart guy. I can't lie. <laughs> He's funny. There was a. <laughs> he said. Um, Let's see, she's trying to bite something open. She's like, oh, let me not break doctor. I don't know what. So it's like, yeah, porcelain tiles, marble. <laughs> 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 you're using... That's jokes. Th- we're using toothpaste, you're using cobra. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> How would I get back from that? <laughs> <laughs> cobra. So that? Yeah. I guess it's pretty funny. I can't and lie. quick. Yeah. Go and lie. lie. People that are quick like that. And he's like... So um, crazy. 15 years in the game. Yeah, it comes with that, though. You think so? You think you can train yourself to do that? Like, you be can, just be quick. But when you're around people who are always joking, you have to literally come back with a yeah. zinger ASAP. And I mean, you need to be smart. You need to be quick. Mm. You need to, you know, think on your feet mm. type thing. But even, like, with that stuff, there's so many uh, v- variables. I think even delivery is important. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I would have never looked at that man and think Cobra tiles. You yeah. know what <laughs> I mean? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> there was another thing he said... Um. No, Lassie's was speaking about his sister. Mm. So, he's like, who's your sister? Can isn't she white? So <laughs> 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 like, like, she's like, isn't she white? But she's white. Yeah. Mm, I saw that. That's crazy, bro. Like, like I uh, just like just to defer from like the what we s- like the whole Kanye Mbao situation. Have you seen her? Yeah. Have you seen her? I think so. I must have seen. Have Daniel. you seen the transformation? Yeah. How she looked? She yep. looked like an alien. The yep. the whole like plasters on her face. What did she get surgery? Yeah. She got surgery. surgery. She bleached her skin. She looks, she looks whiter than you. Crazy. I'm gonna, we'll put the before and after. Mm. Is an, I didn't, I didn't see no after. I saw the the process of it. Is she done now? Did she, is she, is she, hey, hold up. She's, be, it's been, she's been going through plastic surgery for years now. Yeah, that's heavy <laughs> though. And another thing, <laughs> the comedian, um, Paul. Uh, so he ordered like a king clip fish. He's like, mm. no, it's healthy or whatever. So he finishes the fish and it's like, the waitress comes and takes the plates. He's like, tell the chef to tell the fisherman, great cat. <laughs> 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 that's a joke. <laughs> nah, that's a fire one. You expect it to stop by chef. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. but I tell, uh, tell the fisherman, great cat. <laughs> that's uh, nah, some pop pop things to say. That's really funny. I can't you lie. Have to watch yes, that video. Like a podcast, ne? or what? Yeah. It's um, like an awkward date thing. So it's like no, no, no. Are you talking about he has a uh, podcast. The, yeah. the, po- the comedian. Or PNC. Yeah. Okay. But this thing is like the old yeah, chicken I, shop I know date. I, yeah, I s- I've seen it. I've seen, like I said, the club where he basically wants to pay. Mm. And then uh, Lucy's way wants to go to the toilet. And then he says, let me go check. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. That whole episode is comedy gold. What is it on YouTube, man? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Check, check it out. It's pretty nice, though. There's a lot happening on there. 
It's very yeah. flirtatious also yeah, this season. Yeah, but yeah. even mm. like even like with that type of content, uh, it's, it's not something that I always I'm always like um the one that the UK one, mm. the chicken shop date. The Amanda de Molden. Yeah. When she had uh, Sabrina Carpenter on, like I wouldn't watch that per se necessarily. Like she did the one with Hugh Jackman and uh, Ryan Reynolds, like I would watch that. Yeah. Check, so and she did one with Lando Norris. Who was that again? The Formula One driver. Oh yeah. And oh after yeah. that, yeah. after that interview, then you won a race, and then she was really? like, "To the rest of the Formula One drivers, if you want to win a race, come on." <laughs> on really, it is what marketing. Muti, yeah. Muti vibes in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> who, who knows? Yeah. Speaking of just off topic, speaking of Muti vibes, I always think even in football they like they, they do stuff like that. Must be. Cause so I forgot they be doing that. They eat I the bar like five <laughs> times. <Can I> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were speaking about like criminal activities at home, so I said, you know what? If I had to get involved in any type of illegal business, Muti. I am touring <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'll become so invisible <laughs> that people like. I would never get caught. I would make sure I got the strongest thing. I would go to whoever Jacob Zuma goes to. <laughs> True <laughs> say. Whoever he goes to. I that man. That man, that man is probably like from, I don't know, Northern Africa. Because mm. it works from different countries, man. When you're in free state. But that voodoo is stupid. Even voodoo, guys. Yeah. I do. do you? I think it's really I don't know. I'm on the fence with it, man. I've never had it personally. But I went to Limpon, but it was raining. It was thundering. It was sun out. And there was locust also at the same time. Mm. I was like, that. Okay, that but I don't feel like that is like voodoo or witchcraft. But they didn't say that's like the, the, the crazy part. No, the crazy part is there was low caste. There was literally grasshoppers. I don't know where it was like just plain, plain grass. Yeah, but I mean, we have then that same know. issue here in the Eastern Cape. Dude, I'm not talking one locust. I'm talking like no, but we a have that thousand of yeah. them. Out of no, dude, it in a space of ten like minutes. Once a year, like certain times of the years when they migrate, yeah. and it's more prevalent in the. Um, farming districts because of the crops. Mm. So a lot of farmers would like. So I guess you shut my claims down of believing. Well, I guess I don't believe in food. <laughs> but I mean, like. But they, they say then like but you have to be like there, though. The it's weird. It's most prevalent. Yeah, I you have to be there. there. But it was weird, bro. It was like thundering. And it's like. <laughs> but the sun is out. Mm. Like you can hear like thunder roars. <laughs> yes. Wasn't there like a tornado there recently? Or am I tripping? No, but you know what? I Those know. areas Can't further look. up into the country, the drier areas, they go through that. I lived in Johannesburg for like a, a couple of months when I was younger. Yeah. I hated it every I hated it every day there was a storm. There'd be like three, four storms a day. The sun would be shining but the lightning and thunder and So then why do they call us the windy city? I hate it. Like Johannesburg it. in summer. Those areas in summer are the yeah. worst. People glamorize Johannesburg, but they don't mention the the, the, the iffy weather. That's just besides the crime, the weather itself, like yeah, like it's now sunshine. Next minute, thunderstorm. Speaking of which, did you guys see that clips, um, pictures and clips and stuff of the snow? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so that's that? Um, Natal. Oh, uh, they said black people don't deserve weather because they're making like snowmans <laughs> with boobs. <laughs> yeah, and those guys are chilling with no shirts on. They put in beers. What the hell? Nah, that's, that's crazy. Why God has that's given crazy. us crazy? We just get some. But though, doesn't it kind of make it odd? It's spring now, though, but it's snowing. Remember when we were speaking Isn't about that global warming? That's bad yeah. signs. End of the world. Like I said, I said most. Mm. I feel like we're not gonna last long on this. What would you do if you knew you were on fire? You're gonna die. Like, what if you saw like a comet? Like, remember that movie? Don't look up. It's like th- th- there was like a comet uh, projected to come in the next um ten days. Yeah, but did you see there was actually an asteroid that hit um the uh, that hit just outside Jeffrey's Bay? Yeah, really. They did a yeah. new story. Isn't the the rock here by NMU? Yeah. Uh. You guys know that? Yeah. I mean, I'm living under a rock. I had to use the pun. <laughs> I'm chronically online, so. You are. Oh, yeah. I just ask Yasmin whatever I need to know. But you guys didn't answer my question, though. Would you, what would you do if you knew you were going to die in the next 10 days? Would 10 you? days is a lot of time, to be honest. Yeah. That is a lot of time. I would repent. Mm, I would also repent. I would make amends. But do you think it would work? Because, I mean. I would confess know. my feelings. Really? I would phone Henry Cavill. I'll Can Instagram I be honest? call him. I wouldn't actually do majority of the stuff. I'll probably, like, 
pray and repent, I'll do that part. But the rest of the things I would actually do, I won't do. Because my own mentality is, you know, what if the 10th day come and we still here? <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Because the thing that I would do is I'd rob 2000, you Y2K, 2012. Let's say the 10th day comes and you still here. Yeah, that time I'm committing suicide. That's what you mean. I told but you. But like, whatever is guaranteed now. And you see the but comment getting you know closer, you know? closer and oh, closer and closer. See, close see, see yeah. approaching. Then, yeah, I think maybe I'll probably do the things that I would want to do. Spend I don't, my I don't know. salary, go somewhere. You want to still spend a salary? Uh, I mean, uh, what to get somewhere, yeah? What How am I going to get there? Do you know what I mean? Like, this, they're still going to take money. Do you think so? I, I feel like if that, had, if that had to happen, I feel like the world would have, like, go a whole purge. Yeah, that's what I'm also thinking. Everybody would go crazy. I'd probably, like, I have a beef with my neighbor. I'd probably do some weird shit to I that think person. I it would be like, like, it would be kind of like a, the world is coming to an acceptance point. Like, uh, there would be probably rioting and looting and all and kick murders and blah, blah, blah. If that happens without the comment, that yeah, happens on a, on right. a regular. So that's going to be obviously elevated. But I think there's going to be like a whole thing of like, um, let's say soccer, for example. Mm. Let's take soccer. Let's take F1 sports. On the ninth day, they're going to have like a huge match or a oh race yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And goodbye. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, they would do something like Woo-hoo. that. I don't want to go play soccer what on the ninth day. Do? I feel like the first thing I would do is take one of like the nicest cars out on a. I would like just drive around. I probably would do something. Steal petrol. <laughs> Steal petrol. <laughs> <laughs> maybe drive. Maybe drive a Lamborghini off the pier. <laughs> just. It'd be crazy. I don't know. I really don't know what I'll do, but I know I'd really want to be around people like like. Yeah, facts. Because yeah. I want to be around no weird people the yeah. last few minutes. I just know that's the thing. That's what I need to happen. Like, I need to be with some good friends and family and we need to be sitting down and just accepting it and, mm. like, you know, watching it come um, type vibe. Because I'd be high. No, I wouldn't I'm watch it come. I'd want to time. die before it happens. So I'd probably, like, overdose or something. Exactly. Really? Yeah, I exactly. don't want to see it coming. I probably I think do it would, I horse tranquilizers. I think it would be crazy to, like, look at, like, you know what I mean? Like, to experience that. That would be instant, though, to be fair. Don't you think? Would be, but it would be painful, um, dog. It would be very painful. I guess, yeah, that's true. It would be instant. It would be more than 10 seconds, be dead. But, yeah. But, like, y- you say overdose, so would you take, like, the Yalissa perks or something? Not perks. So you can fall asleep and basically not wake heroin, up. Heroin yeah. or cocaine. So I'd wake up dead. I'd rather mm. wake up dead. <laughs> wake up dead? <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh, it gets me every time. Me too, I'd wake up dead too. Yeah, bro. That's, that's what I was expecting from COVID, dog. I was, expe- I was expecting a zombie apocalypse. I was praying for one, in fact. Yeah. I was really praying. It was definitely praying. a weird time, but you would you would think it would be worse. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. yeah. You believe it in the next few months, 2020 is going to be five years ago. You Yo, that's crazy. Five years ago. That's so crazy. The most, the shift, the craziest shift in the world was five years ago. I guess that's why they say you need to love in the moment. Do you think they're going to teach that in history? Coronavirus. COVID. Uh, of course, like the whole world stood still. Yeah, they, they spoke about leprosy. Yeah, it wasn't as strong as like the Black Plague, but it was bad. Yeah. But like on the topic of like apocalypse, but it spread th- faster than the f- than the plague. Oh, uh, I don't know I how I was in there, so I don't know if the how fast it was. I think the plague was more in Europe. Yeah, oh yeah. it was worse than That's the black the black because like the whole world stood still. It stood mm. still. Like well, China was not doing anything. People in South Africa were not doing anything. So it was the fact that you could go outside and get arrested is bonkers to me. Bro, you used to die two night machines yeah. to go get beer. And the streets were empty. Mm. And Bro. it was illegal. Let's not maybe say that part. And but yeah. everybody became bro- brewers. Mm. Yeah. Doing I, drank home alcohol. Alcohol. I drank the home alcohol. Oh, the stomach it gave me. I drank the yes. potato one. Yeah. COVID was a weird year that for me. It was actually crazy because like... Cigarettes were uh, like it was borderline apo- mm. apocalyptic, yeah. Because like cigarettes was banned and expensive, alcohol was banned and expensive. Everybody was acting weird yeah. that year. I had I had a permit to travel around because I worked in a um, what what did they call it? The yeah, emergency or like yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Essential, yeah. essential worker, yeah, essential worker. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then I would bring s- uh, the hard drive to Ardell yeah. to download movies and everything, mm-hmm. and then. Because I could basically travel Rome, around. So. Yeah. so you're not really doing any essential work. You just literally bring a hard drive to I do two copies. No, movies. I was at work, but I worked down the road. I mean. Oh, okay. I guess okay, calm. We got yeah. stopped by a police cop, uh, by police traffic when we went to go pick up my mom. Mm. It's like, what are you doing here? I was like, bro, we've been trying to pick up my mom from the hospital. 
There's two people in the car. I'm like. You live in the same house. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that. Yeah, because your reasoning is valid. You're going to fetch an essential worker from exactly, the Exactly, living still, yeah. you know, so it's like, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. But yeah, uh, Luke, I want to ask you guys this. So we spoke about basically like having that 10 day span and kind of what it would be like. But like, uh, what would you do? I feel like this is the most basic podcast question, but like, if it was like a desolate land, what would be like your first moves that you would make? Like, me personally, I would probably like, Eat you up, eat you up, and then we kind of convene at Greenacres and like lock it down type shit. Lock Greenacres down? Yeah, because I mean, by now, let's say zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Let's check, you need to be at like the base where you can vibes. do shit. Exactly. Yeah, 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 like Maze Rider. Maybe even the, what's that place? Uh, the, the shop there in William Moffat, that China shop? I don't uh, know. General, General store. store. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a lot of bubble there. They have guns even. Oh, the shop where they get everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. So, like, what would you guys do? Um. I think I definitely arm myself up first. So mm. my first place of business would be gun check. Fears. I would agree with that. I yeah. would get that. I'll make sure I got bulletproofs. Then I would go rob a pharmacy. Take everything Ooh. from that pharmacy. Ooh, butter, butter trading. Yeah. That's everything from the pharmacy. Yeah. I would make sure that stock is empty. Just came out it up next. Yeah, I feel like she's you be you planned this out already. <laughs> Bruh, you probably like I, I'm a deep think, I think about a lot of things, yeah, yeah. So, but I the pharmacy thing is that like for meds to sell to bottle? No, for meds. So, I, I think it's water, ever in general, water, and but use mostly it. for my friends and family, for the people yeah. closest to me. So, that if something, but them people, yeah. bro, me, now nah, you need something, bro, you need asthma pumps, some pool, asthma like pumps. Prednisones, mm. everything, gauze, um, alcohol wipes to clean yeah. wounds. I would, yeah. Do you, do you look here, put that into perspective. Yeah, I but would not say the same thing. Because how are you going to hear? If I do need a sword, though, just for the vibe. A sword? Might as well go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that black lady there. <laughs> it was them, um, that zombie show. Um, Walking Dead. Walking Dead, yeah, yeah. I would try and find solar panels. Oof, that's a good one. That's the most probably making the most one. You're making tools. points. Yeah, solar panels. Um, I'd stock up on petrol. Mm. Um, Gallons. I'd find things. the generators. Mm. You know, like. Mm. Well, you're not thinking about. You're not thinking about like your place. You're just thinking about sustainability. Yeah. So then I'd also go like to a nursery and get like plants and things, seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. Mm. Start the garden, yeah. right? Like hello because and if all. Because things the ran out, mm. I need to be able to, you know. Very well it. thought. Can't lie. Legit, I would very have never well said those Very things. well thought. I literally just said I'll get obviously lock myself up, but get the sword. Like at the <laughs> <like laughs> <like laughs> <I'm laughs> green acres. Okay, so but it's not lying though, because you everywhere. Because like you have everything at green acres. Yeah. Food. I, okay, I do understand the concept because this happens a lot in the movies. Like if we like a group of people, we a young commune. You check, mm. then everybody, the one person starts betraying the group and doing exactly. certain powers. So yeah, I yeah. understand that aspect of it. But in Green Acres, my bro, is beds galore. But then, everything. you in Green Acres, fine. But how many other people are trying to get into Green Acres? That is true. That is true. Face, face, face. So face. you need to also think like, okay, everybody's going to target this place. Yeah. You just Arcated. target pharmacy, gun check. Yeah. Uh... This game, this yeah. oh, don't this game has a pharmacy, so you yeah 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 you sort Ev yeah. everything. Yeah, just yeah. hit one two stones, one bird two stones. Would you would you guys go like to no, like uh, vice versa? Let's say okay, let's say it's a few days in there, mm. and like the population's a bit done for now. Like you know, there's not many of us left and whatever. Would you guys go to like a big house in um, what's this place here? If you go on this road straight down, there's like uh, like see you. No, no, there's before see you. Warmer. Something heights. Love heights. more heights. Love more, Love more heights. heights. That's, that's a place down yeah. here, right? Yeah, yeah. Would you go, like, barricade yourself in a house there? Because um, those houses are amazing, bro. But it's just like... I'd barricade myself no, in some strand. How do you know the house you're breaking into doesn't have someone armed in there? I understand, but, like, uh, at some point you have to explore. You have to go find things, no? Yeah, but... um. So, like... I don't know what I would do. Because the, there there's a lot of, like, what do you call these things? Estates. Yeah. Closed off, barricaded, like... Yeah. I I wouldn't stay on one spot for too long. Fears. So, where would you I would move around. So, you'd have, like, a... Uh, or like, a, a RV. Or, like, a, a, a trailer. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, uh, an RV. Yeah, but yeah. that's also too big. So, if I have an RV, 
then I'd, I need motorbikes yeah. so that I can yeah. get between things. See, like yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what I would do really. Figure it out when we get there. Probably get high. So, look here, before we finish up on this topic, I'm going to ask you another question on this topic. So, do you you just said we you don't think we're going to make it to like old age, like us specifically. No. Do you think so? Do you think we will? Me? M- us as a unit. Like like as without a, the as dying as thing. Yeah, yeah, without that. Like, do you th- because Yasmin is basically saying the world is going to shit, right? So, do you think we're going to make it to old age? With how I'm living right now? I'd say, yeah. I'd unless I die just randomly. Yeah, yeah, besides that, let's not like besides that. Like the that. world, do you yeah. think the world would the whole the, the like world if you if you make it to 70 do you think the world is going to be in a like a livable position do you think oh bro i think we're going to be worse bro worse than now i also think so because so like I currently because like, like i feel like with more the times like the, like time is changing like with everything with convenience like phones microwaves mm. they're trying to make life easier but mm. that kind of complicates life because you don't really learn necessities of like certain skills like how yeah. to make fire how to cook you know because yeah, yeah. like like you have like the access to everything mm. you know so that kind of kind of kind of robs you of certain skills you know mm. and with social media bro with social media so i feel like social media makes people a dumb bro um i feel like ai is gonna take over True. and true there's no way like we will I all end up was killing Smith each then. other for a slice of bread i feel like that's that's so the road we're going down or really? it's going to be like do you think it's like a hunger games country type based or or do you think i think worldwide i feel like uh, tesla starts chasing you out of nowhere yeah. because if you if you look at things it's like technologies is taking over true mm. True, technology true. can do things humans i was making that the joke on, on facebook did you see that what? i was basically saying when i when i text chat gpt yeah. i always say thank you so oh yeah 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 <laughs> 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 and some i robot yeah thing. I, was, I was nice to the ai so just like yeah hey uh, uh, hey hey don't take me to your leader asked him how the day was and that yeah <laughs> 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 just for safety i've never said thank you for chat sake. gpt really Never. I'm you too. Me too. Yeah, that's crazy. That is, that's stupid. Uh, if they <laughs> take over, they take over. They must <laughs> kill me because now what? Must what am I gonna do? I can't fight the robot. Yeah, facts. And uh, to you're be very honest, ill-equipped. Like Ill-equipped. There's no emotion in that type of thing. So mm-hmm. they just think of you as like a, a tool, essentially. Like we. And yeah. they have tool. access to information. That is also very true. So Your how am I gonna history. fight? Something that's so small. Well advanced. Fights yeah. back with embarrassment. Because yeah. they can close <laughs> files bro, if they needed to. Even though your the medical records, if they hit you here where your bone is broken, <laughs> <laughs> you go down once. Exactly. <laughs> you, you know? Down once. Nah, bro. Uh, uh. The whole world ending. It's, 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 like it's, it's going to um, happen. Though. Ultron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ultron. Ultron, Ultron is took one look at the society and, and was like, sis. you need yeah. to go. He said, sis. Literally. <laughs> 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 uh, one yeah. look. And that's how it is, though. Because you are humans, dog. I say sis also sometimes, bro. Facts. Facts you know, like, bro. what are you guys doing, bro? Even in my, like, my, with myself, me, bro. Like, like, we were just talking about the 20v1. I feel like that's such mindless content, yeah. me, bro. <laughs> but I watch it. That is objectifying at the highest level. Facts. And that's just content that accessible to us. What about the darkness? Just Yo, that, like that w- the things that's going on I'm there. so scared. Whenever I'm I think of the dark net, I think of like, um, I remember there was this one TikTok that I saw that was basically saying, um, you know that that wipeout game, have you seen that? With yeah, the balls yeah, that yeah. they run and jump on. Yeah, and yeah. It's like an obstacle course with water at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently on the dark web, there's one where if you win, you win money, but if you lose, you fall to your death. It was like it. escape room. Yeah, I was going to say that yeah. now. Yeah. So it's like that kind of vibe, man, bro. So imagine like, it's it shows it's on TV, but because back to what we're saying, but rich people are bored because that's probably funded by rich 100%. people. One hundred percent. It's in some random garage somewhere. Is like that true? A warehouse. I, I that wipe out. That wipe out. So wipe death like out. A, a dark web. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was literally death out. I think it is a thing, bro. Like someone might have spoken it on TikTok. Who knows though? Who knows? But yeah, to the point, dark web is. <laughs> like I think that rich people, like billionaires, with those large properties and. I feel like they hunt homeless people. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. <love. laughs> That's crazy though. Nah, I, I'm kind of in agreement. Because like, look at that that old um, like bit that people say talk about where those stock owens, they used to m- pay yeah, the homeless yeah. people to fight each other. Oh so yeah. If they are doing that, imagine what the billionaires are doing. 
with because you must remember the homeless people nobody's gonna look for them or anything True. of that nature so it's like, like yo come here yo, soup kitchen come to this part yeah. and then you could pull up there and then you're and being hunted might be in a desperate situation where you're like yeah. this money could change my life bruv if i just beat the fuck out of this bro right now so uh, that's crazy dog uh, the world is going to shit still but me i i don't know I'm just happy I'm still alive though. Either way, that's my. That's what I wanted to add on. Also, like that that shit could be going on, but we just yeah, uh, like yo, yeah. yeah, I've worked tomorrow type shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just I have to wake regular. up at six. Yeah, like I wish I had that. I'm bored. What can I do with my money? Facts. I think about that all the time. Really. I think I would like pay celebrities to tell me their secrets. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but what did you? I I'm a nosy person. So I don't know, like. <laughs> Then what happens yeah. if you know, like you, we really did that? Yeah. What am I? What else am I gonna do with it? Uh, would you pay? Uh, Who's secrets? Which, which celebrity secrets would you wanna know? I it's a celebrity. Okay. I want to know the truth behind the Kardashians. That's mm. a good one. Mm. That is a good like one. Like I need to know their deepest, darkest, darkest secrets. Yeah, yeah. I need to know what they do in the dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Kanye West also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very interested in what he. What he has. What, what he's hiding. And like even just like the what presidents, what? Joe yeah. Biden. Oh yeah, yeah. Kamala Obama. Obama. Tells you I'm a lizard person. <laughs> the royals. Oh like yeah. I, if I had money. Oh, the, like the royals. Like oh, the fair, royals. Let's just those people. You can't pay them enough. Do you think there's enough money in the world that they'll be like? I'll tell you this. What I'll, I'll tell you that. I don't they think there's so. yeah. secrets. Do you think there's a number on that? You can try. I don't think they would pay you. I, I don't think, think they'd they take the money, bro. Henry Cavill, I'll ask him if he'll marry me. I'll pay him to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> he says no. When he says no, no. No. I love that man. I really, I love it's him. It's like the third time he actually said it today. I'm I'm, uh, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. He's a cool Swarm dude. Them. Ask him how upset I was when I found out he's having a kid. I couldn't believe like we knew the bra personally. Like he's our bra I mean, from How can it how can you do that? You must not block that content of my for y- TikTok for you. Bro. Really? I don't want to see that. So you you in your relationship it's your boyfriend and Henry Cable in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Insane bra. But how do you feel about that though? Your your girlfriend having or your partner having like a crush, a celebrity crush? Like you you t- like the war pass thing, you referring to that. Like oh. the said ce- celebrity war pass. The wall pass. The wall pass. Wall. What's that? It's like if like if she gets into a relationship, man, then the one person she can smash outside of a relationship yeah, is a celebrity. Henry, is Henry specifically? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so like I'd say yes to that because I know it's unrealistic. But is it though? Anything can happen, bro. You never know. It's what very is, like? Let's say, for example, man, you in a relationship, man. Podcast goes big. We get to travel the world, go USA. We bring on whoever your girlfriend celebrity crush is. Maybe it's a rapper. Yeah. It's a possibility, bro. Don't put then those thoughts in my mind, bro. Get cook, cook, I, cook. I, There's no other way. You must get bro, I don't know. But then you have that at least it's Henry Cavill. Or at least... At least that it, nigga was putting pipe with my girlfriend. Facts. Harder than me. Facts. Nah, brother. Nah, brother. It's a long and day. she probably enjoyed it. Who knows when, when, when we having sex, she probably thinking about that time. Yeah. Now you must keep her eyes open because you think now if she closes her eyes. Imagine she starts doing this. You know, she's right and she starts doing this to your face. <gasps> don't, don't look at me. Imagine, bro. I, I or she's like, or she tells you to switch to a certain position. Gee. Your mind immediately goes to, oh, you learned it from homeboy. Uh, <laughs> long facts. Long facts, days. bro. You're like, I don't, I don't want to look at you. Can we switch off the lights? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to imagine. She wants a canvas to imagine. She doesn't want to look at you. That's crazy. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I don't know. I had this girl. She was like, you know, knock music. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's my crush. I love him. I was like, I was like, I looked at that. I looked I at that bitch. I was like, what's wrong with you? Because you can't meet that nigga. Because that nigga stays in. He's like, he's from yeah. PE. I was like, that is I possible. That is possible. I met him in. I think it was New Brighton. I think. Yeah, he's from it New was Brighton. A concert, it was, there was like a concert PA thingy. <gasps> He smells so good. That guy. Like, okay, you don't understand. Let's, let's I was like, relax. I want to marry this man. And then I saw his girlfriend was colored, and I was like, I stand a chance with <laughs> you. I know. I see it. In if I put my mind to it, I like can have cheese. you also. You're manifesting <laughs> it. Jokes. Manifesting it there with the with the, uh, the cyst. Yeah. The, I almost said incest. With the incest. 
Incense. Incense, yeah. Incense, yeah. not incest. But I was like, he smelled so freaking good. Oh. Is he like pretty or is he he's cheese boy or no? He's I don't know, bro. He's, 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 he's a man who can steal my girlfriend. That's one thing I know. <laughs> I think I know. He's a handsome man. He's Listen. He's a I, I don't I've probably seen him but I wouldn't smile. He's a very he's a very um clean dude, buff, tattoo. He got the neo head going on there, low key though. No. He's handsome. <laughs> he is so handsome. Look at that does that. Look you and he smiled at me that day. I kn- I wanted you to melted. Die. I was like, you know what, thank you, God. I'm ready to go now. Like let's and then boom, crazy. a meteor, a, a rock hits you on the head. <laughs> it's crazy. But uh, celebrity Yo, crushes, fine. I don't want them. You're going to put a picture up of him? Or yeah, he's I'll just find one. I mean, I've, I've probably seen him somewhere, some photo or something. I just yeah. don't really know who he's Yeah, doing. he's from PE, man. He's That's from crazy. PE. Yeah, come to the Homeless Crusades. So you can meet. Please. Oh. You can meet her. <laughs> Be hold yourself. Quiet, hold, <laughs> hold yourself. You must hold. You must. You must hold yourself down, though. I'm gonna be there, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's a possibility. Purr. Yeah, like purr. But look, yeah. Um, go from one thing to another. Now, on the topic of him having a colored girlfriend, you wanted to talk about basically dating in like different cultures and that. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank God we have a female. Yeah. So now, like, when you date, like in colored relationships, right? Like, do you want a nigga who has like? Would you say money is an issue? Like, would you say like when you date a guy, like, oh man, I can't date this guy if he's not moneyed. Or is it like? Is it also part of the criteria? Um, I don't want to be poor. Because black girls, cause and black, I don't if you want don't the benefit, to rely on me. True. So if he doesn't have money, then what's the point? If I don't have money, you don't have money. And yeah. you're not doing anything to make money. Yeah. Or like you don't have that mindset of hustling and like, you know? Yeah. Then what's the point? That's the point. I get that. But like I feel like black girls specifically, dog. It's like I want a guy who earns thirty five K so can give me five K. Like go so do you before go you, before you go from the you just wanna point out if you're a black woman and you object to what he's saying, come on the podcast, we can talk about it and we can figure that Please out. Please come through, because a lot of girls that I know that are black want girlfriend allowance. Because yes, she can speak for herself, she can speak almost from a colored perspective, but at the end of the day, like we're trying to differentiate basically, you know, the differences between... But you know, colored women are the same. Really? Colored women, yo, 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 yo. I want to say I feel like colored girls are easy, but oh, that's going to get me cancelled. They're not easy, no? Price is tight as well. Well, can you show them? Well, I don't, don't, but don't like quote me on them. Dating, dating, like for black people and colored people and white people is different man, from each. But it's you know what? No, colored women, they like money as much as black mm. girls. I think it's colored think girls don't want money for weave. Colored girls don't want money for nails. You know, I've never. Yeah, they would want money. They do. And to do the air, like it's not. <sighs> not I can't expose. I know someone. I can't. Know, I'm not gonna. Cause he's talking about it, Dolly. But uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We know. Oh, okay. But like, let's just talk from the perspective of like. So that's like a criteria for her. If you don't have no. like the girlfriend no. allowance is also a real thing in Cali in the Cali community. Really? Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Really? My thing is, for me, like, relationship wise. Doesn't really matter if we have money, yeah. but if we're getting married, like if we, if I need to work for us to survive, yeah, like months. Yeah, that's month very that's understandable. Then I, cause I want, I feel like I want to be a housewife. I want to be. Every girl wants to be a housewife. And that's what Can't I. Auntie, want. she can't even cook. I can cook. Microwave doesn't count. Not microwave. I can cook, and can I can. You vouch for that. Yeah, I think she can, but like I'm trying to. Can you clean? Can you do all of that yeah, stuff? Yeah, of course. I can lift gear boxes. I can fix cars. I can change tires. Really? Like big like units. Shout out to units. <laughs> <laughs> like big this units. I can do a lot of things, but I don't want to do a lot of oh. things. And I won't cook for somebody that's not my family or oh. someone close to me. So I won't go to a random guy and be like, oh, I like you. Like, I can cook for you. No. Uh. You need to show me that I can cook for you. Save like my cooking. Like, 
I think that's that. Give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, honestly. That's fair, bro. That's like, crazy. I can't even hold you. I, but I always thought it was literally like if you date, you have to have money type shit. But it's more of like you have to have a hustling mindset and you need to be somewhere. Yeah, and also just aspire exactly. for something to be mm. something. You ne- for me, like you need to have a plan like where you're going. You yeah. can't just be like, oh, the, I don't know. I just, you know. And like have, have a, like intention in your movements and stuff. Like yeah. You know exactly. Doing, yeah. Not be like. Um, Figure it out when you get there. Yeah. Like, like I'll cross. Like you need to think like. You need to be like two steps ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the time. Mm. Two I feel like, I feel like I'm shading black women, dog, because this year alone, I've had, I've been in four relationships, dog. Jesus. I'm broke as hell. I'd yeah. Look, speak from your pers- your perspective, your you know experience. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Sometimes some girls want that. Some girls don't want that. Luckily, I have I have good like some I have good girls like coming to me. Yeah, I have a question for you, but continue. As it. As okay. It. No. Um. Do you think, I think I might have asked you this even in a past episode or what, but like, do you think that women from like rural areas, quote unquote, how do they differ from women from like city. the city? I think it comes from background, bro. If your mom and dad actually like instilled good values in you, you get to the city, you don't really get lost in the lights, you know, you know what you want. You that's, know what what you that's, that's why I'm asking you because I think that like, you, uh, men and women, people from the farm, they're not very obsessed with like yeah. material Some people get lost, bro. Some people get lost. They're actually well disciplined. They don't really. Some of them, they do drink, but it's like they have this fear, man. Oh, I don't want to save a life to mm. swallow me up, you know? Mm. So, like, a lot of black guys say, Yo, if I get married, I actually go fetch a girl from, from Eslali and mm. Mtata, you know? Mm. I used to say the same thing, but my cousin was like, my cousin was like, Yo, but you need to wash your feet. They don't be wearing shoes. I'm like, that's a bit offensive. <laughs> that's it's a bit offensive, that's but crazy. okay. You but okay. Say that. But yeah. girls, girls from that side. Yeah, but not in Tata though. Girls from Tata. Ooh, they fast a dog. They fell for the fast. Like they, 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 they probably would swindle you. They would swindle you. <laughs> Look, I, d- I don't want this to come off as racist, but I see like people who, who own farms and stuff now, like in rural areas. They some now the women some might catch the chicken quick fast. <laughs> like, like that. Grandpa the neck, bro. <laughs> they do that, but always kill. They act like they always look forward. Then they get close, and they get close, and then they die. This is a girl doing that. She probably. Can you see, that's the kind of woman you need when there's an apocalypse. A one, yeah, a uh, one that can dive. Yeah. <laughs> a one that can dive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one that can catch a chicken with one end. Yeah. That can pull a cow by its ears. Because yeah. you know those cows, if you provoke them, they chase you. Mm. The one can slaughter, no, slaughter, slaughter Shows. meat. Yeah, no, talk. it's many <laughs> dynamics. I saw an interesting thing on TikTok the other day. I saw that like uh people that are morning, if you're a morning person or if you're a night person, is like a genetic markup from back in the days when they would hunt for they were like living caves and things. Yeah. So people that are night people typically they would come from people that had from people back then that would stay up at night to protect the people sleeping. Oh yeah. And then the morning people are the ones that would get up early and go like yeah. hunt and go so I'm a hunter. food and things. And you're some p- p- watcher, protector, yeah. whatever the case may be. But that's yeah. interesting. What? Th- it is really is like interesting. Really interesting. That's I- is the evidence or there was probably nah. a whole um, explanation. It's like a study that mm. shows that like it, it becomes like a genetic markup basically. Yeah. yeah. So if you are a morning person, most likely Somewhere down your your, your, your line. gene line, yeah, yeah. Mm. And like, how far does it go back? Because y- you must remember that, like, obviously, Africa, South Africa, even specifically, mm. it's not that long ago where we were just wearing stuck robes here yeah. and facing <laughs> spears and all. Yeah, so it's basically <laughs> like book you fell. know when <laughs> Literally. you like back to those days when you would have to hunt for your food and like yeah. watch um for like animals and mm. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you don't get attacked by animals and things mm. like that. Interesting. Oh, that's it's crazy though. Send me that if you can find I'm it. going to, yeah. Well, like yeah, TikTok be giving you the weirdest sort of information. Yeah. But I thought it's like really interesting because my mother's a morning person. I'm a morning person. My dad's not a morning person. And he's my a sister, my sister's not weird. a morning person. Why is your dad not a morning person? So he's watching. Your mom is hunting. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like <laughs> that's the... Co- <laughs> bruh, after this, I'm always going to look at it like that. <laughs> like <laughs> me yeah. too. Because, yeah, I don't know. But at least there's benefits to both. At least you're not saying like... I'm just thinking about game yeah. now. If you, if you they both had crucial roles. Exactly. Oh, yeah, so yeah, they yeah. literally thought you were going to go in the direction of the niggas that uh, they didn't do shit back in the day. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, 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 the night... Thing. The night 
owls yeah. were the protectors yeah. and the, m- the morning people, people were, were the, the, the providers. So they fire. were sleeping in the day, the watches, and then, the, and then the, uh, the early risers sleep at night. Yeah. It's like a perfect marriage, though, when you think about it. Yeah, it's symbiotic, like it works yeah. together. Very, so very, well. very, yeah, very yeah, perfect sense. marriage. It's crazy. But I, who knows, man? I'm, 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 I'm a morning person. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, w- I don't want to speak from, like, my experience of, like, speaking to women, I suppose. Because, like, you know, I've recently ventured out of my culture, so mm. to say. Mm-hmm. So I'm starting to, like, I'm very, like, a I person. I remember your like tender. I like psycholo- psychology and stuff like that and, like, social... Um, behavior and stuff mm. so i take note of social all cues yeah. yeah i used to speak to black guys and uh, they don't really care as much about like cultural differences do you care like with no, no 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 because I it's, don't. it's something i've noticed like they i think don't care. black guys if you have a colored girl it's like yo i mean the color the fun is like an mm. exotic boat oh, you gotta yeah you got a color friend yeah i'm the girl yeah it's like it's like oh, okay i'm there mm. it's game it's game exceeds <laughs> exceeds the, yeah. the norm hilarious that's crazy so it's like not not uh, not i don't i wouldn't use the word trophy but it's very like yeah. prestige almost to like yeah it's very prestige and then you and have a white woman you're just like your oh, eyes getting top crazy. And you know what i've noticed also like black guys are not scared to like provide like they they're will not yeah they're not they they're will not. spoil your rotten that's true Th- and they they're very like prideful and like all of those depends like it depends which it depends also like which um I want to say ethnicity, but like which um tribe? Because like closer mm. people, and then Zulu people. Zulu people can be stingy, dog. You know, Zulu people can be stingy. Closer people can also be stingy, but also giving at the same time. Yeah. So to men, some so to men, so to men don't even want to like bully you, bro. They literally throw money at you. Oh, give me that coochie. You but know? wouldn't you say that like m- like black men specifically are brought up with kind of that sense of like pride? Because I would say Beja would like um not disagree with what you're saying but like th- he's very like about his culture like you know what i mean someone like him like is an example for me that's someone that's very proud of like where they come from and who they are and stuff. oh yeah yeah I, s- I can get that like i'm yeah. also proud but i just like i kind of realize when I've, i i study a lot of outside my my culture mm. because of people and mm. zulu people and, and zulu people are very like i don't have any shade with zulu people yeah. but zulu people are very like stubborn bro like the sort of people there's like this podcast i'm watching and this guy doesn't really want to give his girlfriend money he goes with her to go buy groceries dog <laughs> goes to, Just to white sure. people do the same thing there's this white woman she ga- she gives her whole salary to her husband and he would be like okay he would he would manage their finances and you know in the muslim culture right the man makes the money and if the woman is working what's her what she makes is hers and what the husband makes us both of these. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of fair, though. I mean... But there's also... Isn't there also a thing of, like, um, the woman doesn't have to work if she doesn't want yeah. to kind of thing? Yeah. Like, like, I know it's, o- it's obvious. Like, it's a very modern thing. But as thing, time goes... But as time... This current time, man, I feel like, as a woman, you should... Uh, I think you should just, like, 50-50 roll it, man. Because, like, you can't really keep him your money and then you're expecting me to always have money. You know? I don't... That's why you need to be rich. Because my thing is, if I must have kids, I don't want to work. Because then I have two full-time jobs. Yeah. Then my I never rest. Okay, so then with, with that, not because like, my whole thing is like not 50-50. I'll maybe 70-60. I understand that. But like... Not everything. Or like 80-20. Not like yeah, everything. Fair, fair play. But like sometimes the guy's also depleted. You know what I mean? So yeah. maybe you can... But you see now, bring you see now let's say we're both working. I have like three kids, right? Yeah. So we both come from work. Now you're tired, I'm tired. But now I must still wash the kids, See, I must I cook don't food, I, don't, I, don't I must exactly. I don't want my sit with our homework. So I I'll wash the kids, you cook the food, I'll do the dishes, other way around. Uh, yeah, we split the whole thing up, like, you know what I mean? Even also bill-wise, like, in terms of paying bills. We have to make sacrifices. I literally, I don't mind, like, paying car off, paying the house off. It's not the groceries are your duty. The groceries, everything pertaining into the little details inside the house, you know? I don't mind. Like, you need to just, like, pay that. And then me, I'll pay like the bigger stuff. Mm, you know, that's sense. just that's my fifty. Yeah, but uh, bra case by case, I like I understand it's case by case. Some people work differently. It's fair enough. But like to me personally, that just makes more sense. Cause bra, you could be knackered. I'll probably come home and do everything, just because I know you just need a day off. Yeah. Like you, bra, we all human. Like you yeah. need time. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, to so like, even though I'm gonna be destroyed after this, I'm gonna take that hit because yeah. I know like maybe next week you got me. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's my opinion on like that. Yeah, I, g- I get your point. Like, I would say, like, I grew up in a house where my, ma- my mother doesn't have to work because she didn't want to work. Mm. Yeah. So my father used to provide whatever. Um, so when she didn't work, then he sorted us out. Yeah. Then when he couldn't work, then she you would. Saw, okay, you see, you see so that's, that's stuff so like that. For me, it's like, if you, you, like, you need to choose a partner that will look after you and times are tough mm. right or things, die. things won't always be great you won't always have money but life that's changes and, and that's the only do you think our mm. age our right. couch uh, like our age group mm. there's people like that mm. you think so yeah like people would literally just like girls girls specifically do you think as a girl and uh, if your boyfriend for example not even like let me just say partner i don't want to say husband you think your partner you'd actually um you'd let them like, okay, you don't have a job. I'll hold you down for the time being. Yeah. Would yeah. you do that? She, I did that with my ex. Worst mistake of my life. Put my hands through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. Because th- but now it's like you're contradicting yourself. Because what happened to you have to be rich. No, right? but you see. You know, key, that's what I'm thinking. You see, I held him down when he wasn't working. Yeah. And then what did I get as a thank you? Yeah, what did I you get? That, that a heartbreak. That is that situation. That's so fine. So that's why, like, I won't just settle down. I won't just get married to someone. I need. That's why I say, like, learning how somebody thinks and how they problem solve. Yeah. And it plays a lot. Like, mm. you need to see where they're at mentally mm. before you get into a marriage or, in mm. or like have a kid with a yeah. person. So, so let's let's say for example. So you're basically saying like, if you do get married to someone eh, and they rich and whatever mm. or win, and let's just say for whatever reason they lose a lot of money and now they kind of have to build themselves back yeah. up. You already know for a fact that this person got there, they have the critical thinking to yeah. accomplish yeah. that again or yeah. to recover like from that. that. Yeah. Okay, cool, so I get you. Like, a lot of people would have money. Like, peop- guys, I would never take a guy that inherited a lot of money because he never had to like work for, like what sweet for it. Yeah. Like what if he inherited it and then he decided to invest it well? If he invested well, then he clearly s- he still has... Like some some sensibility yeah. of 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 but of now if you inherit it and you like oh you go too rough you're spending it every week and you're out in the club buying bottles yeah. i think sti- statistically people that um suffered so quote unquote to like get where they are they have better models better like you know self yeah. discipline they yeah. respect money exactly they respect because they know how hard it takes yeah. to make it exactly. and they know how quickly it can just go now if you if you come from money and you inherited the money and like you're so used to like you're yeah. just driving through galvin the poors look at the poors <laughs> yeah. i've noticed yeah. because like. my ex he was like no why are you wa- like why are you worried about how much you're spending on this it's just a piece of it's just paper like that kind of mindset is not like it's not realistic it's not realistic it is a piece of paper pa- but it's just paper more will come sometimes that more will take fucking months yes. years imagine being rich at 70. Ah. and even like bro you could get the retrenched market next exactly. month you don't know what's gonna club so that's why it's in but i suppose if so if you now like you said if it's someone that's like from a wealthy family you you know where you for where yeah. you, you have a neck to fall back on yeah, so yeah. Nah, you're not supply about like oh i need yeah. to keep this money blah 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 so yeah I, I and i feel like, like struggle like struggle in some sort of way builds character that's what true, I'm saying. critical true, thinking true, true 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 like are you able to think on your feet if something happens now are you able you to sort it plan? out now mm. do you have a backup plan do you have a backup plan for that backup mm. plan I hear it. If yeah, you stay prepared, you don't have to get prepared sort of situation. Not gonna lie, you you explain that all a lot better. I just thought we're just looking for a nigga with money. Like no. No <laughs> true, <laughs> true, true, true. But sensibility. Sensibility. Like, uh, there's this guy that I was speaking to. So ugh. Anyways. <laughs> the ugh. It's like those type of guys that you can't have a conversation with. Like further than ugh, their God, understanding. That is one of my biggest pet peeves, my bro. Further than their understanding, guys. So, I was like, no, I don't like this guy anymore. Stop speaking, whatever. So, he was telling my friend, oh, he, you know, like, he really likes me and things. But he's, like, he's not st- he's not strong mentally. Mm. So, I'm like, I can't be with a man that's not strong mentally because I will, I will. Sample <laughs> over him. Exactly. I will sit on his head. I will kill. He won't know. He won't. I can't have a man that can't, can't think for himself. Yeah. I have to think for the man. 
I kind of also know. hate that. I really hate that. That's how. That's. that's and then he was he was telling my friend like. Like, oh, his mother makes a lot of money and what, what, what. And, like, he will pr- he will inherit it, like, once his mother passes. Like, if his mm. mom must pass one day. But now listen mm. to this. You're 35. You don't have a driver's license. No car. You just, oh, well, you just got his driver's license now recently. You're telling me that for 35 years, you didn't think you never thought about the type of future you just thought, oh, this weekend I want to party. Yeah. And know that if my mom goes one day, she's going to, I'm going to inherit mm. all these things. The safety net again, that whole thing. Like, like what if she dies? What if you die before her? <laughs> I guess in but the I problem mean like still solved. Th- that kind of mindset, I just, I got just gone. It's so we were speaking, because I always used to say, like, I want a man with money. So he asked me, like, so you won't just like get married to for in to anybody just because they have money. So I said I won't get married to him because I know for a fact that this man can't think further than his yeah. mm. That's uh, unfortunate. The question that I asked was basically like, how much is she willing to put up with to get in order to live a decent life? Because you could like she could get married to a shit person, but like, bruh, the life is sorted. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. that was what I was trying to mm. get at. But she said basically like that, bruh. Even if he was billions, billionaire, yeah. he couldn't deal with it. And I mean, like you know the booty. Mm. I kind of, I know about him. She told. Yeah. He, does speak, uh, he, uh, he knows everything. Mm. But, um, like, imagine having kids with someone. Now, you, let's say, God forbid, you pass before your partner. How do I know that my child is going to grow up being able to think for themselves? You know, like, mm. uh, yeah. like you just. You need to think about the generation that comes after you, the not yeah, just yeah, yeah. yourself, because like generational wealth starts with like when you start breaking curses and you like, you know, mm. you need to stop this way of thinking, work yeah. towards a certain. No, I was I was gonna say like I, the pet peeve thing that I mentioned was mainly just like I completely understand what you're saying, but the thing that th- like gets to me the most about like speaking to certain people is that they only think as far as the weekend. Yeah, I can't yeah. Take that that is just like. I do each their own. If that's what you're into and you do that, that's fine. But like some people are living YOLO, bro. YOLO. Yeah, that's fair. YOLO. Like, like I wanna talk. Like about I love YOLO, but I still do, like but I have like I know what I want and I know what I need to do to get to where I need to be. Yeah, the proper but channels. Yeah, mm. so it's just like you can still enjoy your life. Yeah. While yeah, yeah. building towards something. You can like life doesn't have to stop because you need to get somewhere yeah. in life. Mm. Now you miss out on the best years of your life. Mm. The time you now ready because you in in a better place financially, mentally, whatever. Mm. So you start you acting like weird. Now you want to be. Now Mid-life you want to do all then. those things. Yeah, yeah I understand it. I'm so wanting to I'm pay for everything. I know what like you mean. Yeah. Speaking about the people that's just like party central, bro. Like that's all they think about bottles and. I'm getting tired of drinking low key, dog. It's just that thing of over, over, over. You know, I can't stand it though. So if you like that every week and you want to get drunk, and I don't blame you, but like, yeah, like I it gets it gets irritating sometimes, bro. Like it really gets mm-hmm. irritating. Can't lie. Yeah, I was I was told to not be so judgmental, so I don't want to say I don't say too much about like it's just not for me. So <laughs> I feel like, pe- like. <laughs> You know, people always like judge. Yeah, like I always say, let's say I'm uh, I'm somebody that drinks every single weekend. Mm. I don't, but let's say I do, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, somebody <laughs> like is having sex every day with different people, Ooh. or they're having sex every day, knowing it's a sin, but now they judge. No condom, still. Yeah. But what you're doing is a sin. But what you're doing is also a sin. So why yeah. make sure that? Your front door is yes, clean yes, before sweet. you go and be like, you know, I don't like this and you mustn't do that. But then yeah, you're doing yeah. something else. Mm. So it might True. not just be like maybe sex or alcohol. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't gossiping necessarily even. have to be worse or not exactly. as worse. A but son is a son. Yeah, 100%. But you can't be like, oh, but this isn't as bad as that. Some people, some people say some sins outweigh the other sins. But it's the same thing, though. Same thing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I feel like bra, I'm moving into this point also where it's like, Anybody else can do whatever they want to do, but if it doesn't align with what I want, then we're probably not going to, like, you know, 
we, we're not forced to constantly be in contact or anything like that. It's just we're not for each other, number one. Whether it's relationships or friends. Yeah. And yeah. also, if you're not doing anything that doesn't harm anyone else, then there's really yeah, no problem at the end of the day. You check. Yeah. So I think that's like the ultimate uh, like viewpoint of with it. With what I'm saying, I'm not necessarily judging people, but with me personally, dog, like I get irritated of doing the same thing over and over yeah. and over. Mm. Like I... It bores me, you know. It kind of feels like life is monotonous, you know. Mm. It kind of drains me. Mm. So I wouldn't really want to do that because it wouldn't really make me a happy person. I get that. I think also, like, like let's say, for example, like, um, there was one year where I can go out not once, right, but I went to, like, the Shane Eagle thing. So yeah. that made it kind of special in a sense because I just yeah. never go out. So it's like kind of if you do it every weekend, it just becomes a regular yes, thing. Yeah. You understand, you understand. Whereas if you go out once in a while, then there's special occasions, like there's a reason you hide, like there's behind Yeah, and, and actually so that night it becomes more memorable. Oh yeah, you know? 100%. Nah, true say, true say, true say. Facts. But yo, I think, I think, I think, what time? I think we ran out of time though. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, uh, but like, yo, I feel like we've had another eventful and yeah quite chill this this eventful this conversation can't yeah. lie Spe- i feel like introspective i feel like i feel like i feel like she's a nice add to the because like i like different perspectives you know yeah. and like having a female to bring a different side of a point or perspective is just you know it's just yeah. very refreshing or maybe it's like i just like females in general yeah be like that um, it be like that for real and yeah guys i'm i'm literally repeating what i already said but like more things are coming. We're gonna plan the content so much better. Yeah, like and also find ways to try and engage with you guys. We oh have yeah, so many definitely pages. Definitely that we need to we're do. Gonna more. drop a couple of links here: Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Twitter. Um, yeah, TikTok. and like, share, subscribe. Tell your mom about it. Tell your uncle. No, don't tell your uncle. Tell your cousin. <laughs> I would guess that would be better. I would tell say. Tell your uncle. Uh, you know, trying to graphic and that. But yeah. Um, are we guys? Thank you for also That's like been. supporting and you know. Once again, coming through, even though you know we we did fall off a bit, but we're back now. As I yeah, said. yeah, 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 yeah. And, ho- and definitely gonna stay back. And also, just like I just want to quit. Uh, like uh, like with what we're trying to do, we are trying to like um, make PE grow, right? Mm-hmm. You understand? Trying to like add to the culture of PE with 100%. everything. So I just want to give a quick shout out to the homies from the Good Vibe Tribe. You know. Those are uh, uh, some people doing great things also. And oh yeah. I don't feel like there's so much we can do. Robin and Mandy. Yeah, you know. There's so much so much we could do. I mean, there's enough for everybody, man, if we can just, you I know. I agree. Now coexist with saying, each yeah. other. So I just want to give a shout out to them dudes, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, and yeah. Yeah, guys. The All the YouTube things, six you know the five. deal. Thank Scott you for on. joining us here today. Um, more to come. You know the drill. I've been Adil. We have Steve. Stina. And Yasmin. Uh, we out. Yes, sir. Sure. Shoo.